Hey, everybody. Hello. We We're back. We're here. Real Pastors are back. And I know you guys saw us earlier today, live mm -hmm. show, talking about HBO Max and such. If you haven't seen that, mm -hmm. go back and see it right now. Yeah. And then come back Pause. to this one. Yes. Pause. Go back. Just watch them. Be with us. We appreciate your viewings. So, yeah. yes. Um, and and I'm just going to go ahead and say this. This episode, this discussion it's going to be a lot more pleasant than that one. Yes. It's going to be a lot, lot more, more optimistic, a lot more exciting than what we talked about previously. So mm -hmm. enjoy this. So, yep. So, uh, Gary, I say we just go ahead and dig right into this. And Again. yesterday, if you guys um, didn't hear or see or whatever, yesterday was Walt Disney's investor day, which I guess this is how they make their stocks go up. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, I still don't understand stocks, but okay. Yeah. To me, it was basically a, another like Comic Con, but just for them. That's just mm -hmm. how the way I kind of saw it. But mm -hmm. yesterday was their investor day. And, um, and pretty much they just talked about everything that they have coming out. Everything from Pixar, from their Disney's uh, other animation studio, like everything that's coming to Disney Plus. They talked about everything that was on there. However, we are not going to discuss all that. We're no, pretty much going to focus. Yeah, we don't have time for one. Mm -hmm. For two, we're going to focus on Star Wars and the Marvel mm -hmm. news. Because that's Star what Wars we really stuff. want to talk about. Yep. Marvel Madness and Star Wars stuff. That's what we're going to talk about today. Yeah. Yes. That is a good way to put it too. Star Wars stuff because what mm -hmm. they announced. All right. And then um, mm -hmm. also Marvel Madness. That is a great way to put it. So, Gary, what do you think? We start off with some Star Wars stuff. And um, oh. I'll go ahead and put this picture up here so everyone can see it. And uh, as soon as I get things to work properly, my bad, y'all. Because it'll be just to kind of put up there and talk about it from there. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Here <laughs> is what they put out there. Wow. So, yes. So we have um, Andor, Visions, Ahsoka, Road Squadron, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Lando, Rangers mm -hmm. of the New Republic, The Droid Story, Bad Batch, and The Acolyte. And this is everything that they put out there um, of things that are coming. Um, some of these, you know, or I guess just two of them are coming to theaters. The rest mm -hmm. are for Disney+. Plus. And this is what they have to get Star Wars fans excited. Gary, yes. sir, what are your thoughts seeing this? Excited is the right word. Um, and I wasn't exactly sure what they were going to do yesterday. Um, but they, they brought it. They, they told us this is what we're doing. This is them saying we're doing stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, don't worry. And if you guys remember back in our star Wars discussion episode, the, this seems like the kind of things we were hoping that, that, that the future of star Wars was going to be these types of right. stories. So mm -hmm. I'm very excited. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, I didn't see the stuff for all these things, but um, mm -hmm. uh, Bad Batch looks really cool. Um, yeah. The Patty Jenkins talking about Rhodes Squadron. I was mm -hmm. really excited for that. At first I was like, what is this, a documentary? And then I was like, oh, she's talking about the movie she's about to make. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I saw the Andor stuff. But yeah, it's uh, there's so much in this galaxy that uh, they can explore. And I'm glad this is, it looks like, Disney is uh, doing some good stuff and, you know, it came at the right time yesterday. I think we needed some good movie news yesterday. Yes. yes. I was glad to hear the, like I said, like, like two of these are supposed to be going to theaters. The other ones are going mm -hmm. to Disney plus, which is fine. Mm -hmm. I think it's totally mm -hmm. fine if you're going to do both, you know, <laughs> which, you know, as well as if you, again, if you watch the other video, you'll hear my opinions on abandoning theaters completely. But anyways, so, mm -hmm. um, I'm glad to hear that they're doing both and that they're still going after talent like a Patty Jenkins for Rogue Squadron, which for me, that one's exciting because I love the video game. I haven't played the newest one, but like the older mm -hmm. games and stuff, you know, just, mm -hmm. just all that flight stuff. Maybe, maybe this will be the Star Wars version of Top Gun. That'll actually make me happy. That's exactly what I was going to say. You read my mind. <laughs> I'm proud of you. I'm proud of yeah. you for making that connection. Good job. Yeah, I, 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 figured, I figured you'd appreciate it. Yeah. And maybe I can yeah. finally... Say something positive about Top Gun in, in, in this in this realm. Just it happened, me. folks. It happened. It, <laughs> it happened. happened. Yeah. So, so yeah, but I'm excited for that. And the other thing that got me 
really excited. Of course, it was Obi Wan. He's been rumored for how mm -hmm. many years now? And Long time. so I was really excited about that, and that Hayden Christensen is coming back mm -hmm. as Darth Vader, and I'm mm -hmm. like, yes, because I feel like, because honestly, I felt like he wasn't a bad actor in the prequels. He was just given a bad script. Yeah. And and I feel like he gets a bad rap for what happened mm -hmm. there. And I'm like, it wasn't his fault. And right. you know, so like, I'm glad to see that and um, that they're going to be doing this Obi Wan because of course there's you know, so much stories they could tell with actor yeah. episode three. And then with him there, I think that's great. I think the Ahsoka stuff is good, especially since they reintroduced her mm -hmm. in Mandalorian. Yeah. Um, Bad Batch looks really cool. So, yeah, this just – I'm glad to see this. Yeah. I'm glad to see the mix-up. And the only thing I was kind of like – I don't know. Let's see, see what you think, Gary. But the Lando one, I was just kind of yeah. like, do we need that one? But Now, I have a couple questions on that. So I didn't see the Lando stuff. Mm -hmm. um, is that – is, was there any footage? What are they? Is this, you know, yeah. are they bringing in, uh, um, yeah, his name escapes me. Donald uh, Glover. Yeah. yeah they're they bringing him in. Yeah. They hadn't said anything about that yet. I would assume so since mm -hmm. they kind of already had him. And I would, I would assume yeah. they would bring in what's his name. Who did, who did Han Solo in that movie? Solo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But honestly, he's another one that I was like, I thought he did a great job as Han mm -hmm. Solo for what he was given. Mm -hmm. I, I think mm -hmm. he deserved another shot. Um, I thought Donald Glover was great as Lando. I'm just yeah. kind of wondering, like Troy Barnes, yeah. So I'm just like, but I'm just like, do we need that story? I don't know. But yeah. but here's but here's the thing, you know. I mean, Mandalorian. I was kind of like, all right, sounds cool. We'll see. And now I love it. So who knows? Mm -hmm. I'll probably end up loving Lando too, as long as they tell yeah. a good story. That's all that matters. Tell a good story. Yep. Now other questions. Now Obi Wan, is this? You said this takes place after Episode Three. Yes. Okay. Yes, after Episode so, Three, before the original. So Episode Four. Okay, so Hayden Christensen is in the Darth Vader getup. Like Correct. He's, he's Darth Vader. Okay. Yes, gotcha. he is Darth Vader. He's in the getup. Um, you know, we'll see right. how all that pans out with his voice and stuff. Since yeah. you know the great Earl Jones is the voice of Vader. Um, mm -hmm. So you know, we'll see how that all that kind cool. of yeah. We'll see how it play. We'll see how it plays out. But yes, he yeah. will be in the Vader outfit yeah because i'm vader. i'm looking forward to seeing like what obi-wan does like how he's dealing with everything after mm -hmm. revenge of the sith and then you know anakin getting used to being darth vader that's going to be very interesting that's gonna yeah. be cool yeah now other other and forgive me for having questions i'm not as versed in the star wars world as you and denzel um especially denzel uh yeah. bad batch this is in this is the clone wars type of stuff right like yeah, the, it's Clone with, Wars type of stuff. Okay. These are the these are the um, the clones that didn't exactly literally like the bad batch of clones, uh -huh. like yeah, the ones okay. that didn't pan out and mm -hmm. and follow rules and stuff as they're supposed to because of their genetic makeup or something. Yeah. Of course, Denzel could break it down a lot better. Yes, and I'm sure. honestly, <laughs> when we get closer yeah. to this, we'll have to bring yeah. it back on to explain we this will. a little bit more. But from what yes. I understand, uh, from the little bit I know from what I've seen and stuff, you know, from other animated series, that's what mm -hmm. it is. It's literally the bad batch of clones that kind of make this ragtag, yeah. like that, mercenary esque team kind of thing. That trailer was really cool. It gave me, and, and don't, I, I don't mean this. Like I had the same feeling watching that trailer that I did watching the original suicide squad trailer. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. And I'm hoping it ends up better than that, but I was just, it, I got the same vibes as far as like this type of group, you know? Right. So yeah. yeah, I definitely uh got to get on that Clone Wars. I got to watch it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's right that there is, on my watch that list. That is my goal, <laughs> Denzel. If you're yeah. watching, that is my goal over Christmas break when I'm home with the kids, mm -hmm. is to watch to binge watch some Clone Wars so I can yeah. get caught up on a lot of things. Because apparently yeah, there's so see. much Clone Wars stuff that's happening in Mandalorian anyway. So I we yeah. got to get caught up. Yeah. What was Denzel's text? And I quote after the uh, Asaka episode. Yeah. <laughs> he said, no, no, it was one before that. It said, for the love of all things Star Wars, please watch Clone yeah. Wars. He said that. <laughs> yeah. Denzel is, uh, he's ready. He wants us to watch it. You know, it's almost like, yeah. I feel like Denzel is just wanting us to watch it so he can talk to us about more things. <laughs> you yeah. Know? There's yes. so many things he just can't say. <laughs> yes, because he wants to dig into the lore and stuff, yeah. as, as us nerds do. I mean, let's In, be honest. Indeed, I mean, like, yes. Easily, we can have four episodes yeah. just on Batman between you and I. Like, Oh, yeah. Like, you know, so oh, yeah. I understand Denzel's pain. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to all this. Uh, you know, as much grief as we get, if given, you know, J.J. Abrams and 
some mm-hmm. of the Disney people for Rise of Skywalker. Um, it looks like they're heading things in the right direction. And yeah, if if any of these are even anywhere near as good as the Mandalorian, we're in, we're in for some amazing stories. Yes. Um, and I'm I'm just hoping they don't give it to us all at once because I, I don't I need I need <laughs> I need time. You know I can't yeah. process. I don't multitask well. I don't I won't be able to process it all at once. So just space it out for me. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. but I'll tell you I uh. The, the Patty Jenkins stuff, going back to Road, Road Squadron, mm-hmm. I don't know a whole lot about that either. But watching her talk about, you know, wanting to make this movie, I was getting the same um, feeling I got watching Matt Reeves talk about making the Batman, mm-hmm. you know. And I just yeah. get, and I said this before, when I see a director or a writer or an actor doing something that they're passionate about, it, it makes me really excited. I can appreciate it even more, you know. Yes. Yes, because you know they're going to put their heart into it. They're going to do their mm-hmm. homework. They're going to do things right. And Patty Jenkins has proved herself already with Wonder mm-hmm. Woman, and you mm-hmm. know, and I'm sure the next Wonder Woman. I mean, for, for guys like us, maybe she. I'm sure she's done other stuff, but that's yeah. what we know her from, and yeah. so we trust her storytelling skills and everything. So, um, mm-hmm. I'm excited for that. I'm glad again it's going to theaters, which yep. you know we'll dig into some of that with this Marvel news too, um, mm-hmm. with what Disney did. But, um, but yeah, and I'm glad that they're doing that. And here's what I'm kind of hoping too is. Because I'm a guy that like, I hope they don't try to like retcon a bunch of stuff that already happened with the Disney s- sequels. Yes, we mm-hmm. may not have liked Rise of Skywalker and stuff like that, but it's canon now. So for yep. me, it's like, I-, I think I think how they should treat all this stuff is how they treated the prequels. Uh, the, yeah, the prequels. Where yeah, they may mm-hmm. not be everyone's favorite, but through extra shows and stuff like that, they showed you even more behind the scenes stuff. So now the prequels are like, okay, the prequels are cooler. Because yeah. now we know all these all these extra stories around it. So if they can kind of do that for the for this for the you know, the Disney sequels, mm-hmm. I mean I don't know how you can really fix Rise of Skywalker, but maybe make it tolerable in the yeah. grand scheme of things. You know, yeah. Mo- just move forward, move forward, yes. clean up if you if you clean up where you can, mm-hmm. and uh, move forward. But yeah, the whole you know I don't want to see Disney as you know Superman run it flying backwards <laughs> yeah. around the earth around the star wars earth you know yeah. don't, don't do that to us just move forward and keep yeah. giving us some good good stories like you said yeah. I, and if you can give that's, us the, good, that's the key yep and if you can get as good stories that help out the disney sequels then okay cool then you'll mm-hmm. make them even cooler because yeah are the prequels still a chore to watch yes but if you have the other stuff to help it mm-hmm. why not like you know it, it makes it mm-hmm. like okay let's watch all of it so yeah. just make it to where it's like where guys like us don't feel the need to watch the last Jedi and stop. Like, yeah. You know. Yeah. So yeah, there wow. you go. Yep. So moving on to the next, next part, the other part we really want to talk about is Marvel the news. Marvel news mm-hmm. and boy, did they give us news? So I think um, Gary, I think we should start on, you know, maybe the lowest hanging fruit here just because we've kind of already had stuff from it. Yeah. Uh, is this, um, WandaVision trailer. We had a, we got a new mm-hmm. trailer, um, mm-hmm. and the new trailer because it's coming out January fifteenth. Is that yeah, right? not far, not far, not far. So obviously they had a, they gave us a little something out of that, and mm-hmm. uh, um, yeah, and I thought it looked pretty good. And um, but I'm kind of wanting to hear your thoughts here, Gary. And of course we'll no. continue the picture. Well, uh, I haven't seen the new trailer yet. <laughs> oh, that's uh, a pity. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, I fell asleep early last night. I was an old man. Um, yeah, after watching, yeah. uh, oh, I watched Loki and uh, Winter Soldier, Falcon and Winter Soldier, and then I fell asleep. But okay. uh, but okay. I will say, okay. yeah, mm-hmm. I am excited about this because I did see the previous trailer, and mm-hmm. I'm just excited because this looks very different. And yes, it's and I'm I'm excited to see what exactly they're doing. They go in different universes, timelines, whatever. Um, yeah, so. It looks yeah. interesting. Yeah, there's there's the uh, the lovely wife. She hey, Katie. Oh, Gary says hi. Gary. Yeah, she hi. says hi. She uh, she's got to go back to work. So, but that's all right. So, uh, but yeah. So with the new trailer, Gary, you remember the last trailer? It was mm-hmm. like, oh look, they're in a sitcom, and then all of a sudden, mm-hmm. like something's obviously off and weird, mm-hmm. but you have no mm-hmm. idea what's going on. They just made you even more confused with the new trailer. Oh, but really? Show- yeah, they showed you like some new footage and stuff like that. But with the new trailer, it even showed you even more like, wow, there's really something weird going on. But they gave us mm-hmm. nothing, which is okay. great, which is how I want it. Yeah. 
Like, yes. Don't don't show me. So the trailer ending. should be. So the exactly. trailer should be. Yeah. So they did do that, and um, Feige did say that WandaVision is going to tie directly into Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Nice. So I think so. It seems like this is going to be the beginning of this multiverse. You know how in Spider Man, mm -hmm. the latest Spider Man, mm -hmm. they talked about different universes. Yep. And then it turned out to be fake, but now they're actually like dealing with it. Yes. And, and now, so it looks like WandaVision will have our introduction to the multiverse, which will then lead into Doctor Strange, which will then, you know, on a side note, because he did talk about this too, like Spider-Man stuff. So, mm, yeah, Spider -Man stuff. you know, so there's all that multiverse stuff, which yeah. makes sense because after, after the events of Endgame, mm -hmm. like where else can you really go with, yeah, with, marvel stories unless you dig into the multiverse so you can do a bunch of stuff yep might as well do it i mean these are comic book movies it's what it's what they do you know it's kind of might as well go there uh my prediction is that we find out this is in the same universe as pleasantville <laughs> and, that and andy griffith yeah. yeah and then and then we find it Tobey, and then we tie that's the spider-man tie-in because toby mcguire you know so uh, also in we'll see <laughs> that's my prediction we'll see yeah, i like so, it so but, january 15th only on Disney Plus. Yeah. Um, Disney Plus. Oh, I'm so excited to yeah to dig to get back into Marvel in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, get back because bring it's us back into this world. You know, it mm -hmm. has. Yep. So sticking with Disney Plus stuff. Um, so they also finally gave us a trailer for Falcon mm -hmm. and Winter Soldier. And did you happen to catch that one? I did. I did. Please. And I feel like we've been talking about this for like five years. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it looks really good. I mean, it looks exactly what I thought it was going to look like. You know, it's a, a buddy cop movie in the, in the Marvel universe, you know? Yeah. And uh, I thought the trailer showed a little bit more than I was hoping. It was, it showed quite a lot, mm -hmm. um, but still excited about it. You know, still, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I like both these two characters a lot. You know, and I thought the uh, end of the trailer was absolutely hilarious when he was, you know, making fun. What does he call him? A cyborg brain or something like yeah. that? You know, oh, yeah. that was pretty funny. You know, yeah. and I love the I hate but, uh, you. And he just smiles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, are they holding hands in that picture? It looks like they're holding hands. <laughs> uh, almost. It looks like it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but uh, I mean, like right here, that's that's pretty close. Like, I mean, yeah, you know, right there. that's that's some that's some top notch French top notch friendship there walking down the road holding hands you know but yeah. uh yeah. yeah this looks really cool you know yeah it does i'm excited we finally got to see something out of it um mm -hmm. because it was like man when are we, like we've gotten little set photos and stuff in there and man when are we actually gonna see like some footage here and one another thing that got me excited was when feige said this is this is a marvel studios movie that is broken up into six episodes and mm -hmm. i thought that was that was exciting that that was kind of their mentality. Now I hope it isn't like they filmed the movie and then they just chopped it up and it's going to have this yeah. weird like ending. I hope they actually mm -hmm. said, okay, here's the, the, the main story we want to tell because remember like WandaVision and, and Falcon and stuff and even Loki, which we'll get to in a second. Mm -hmm. They're all, they're all standalone stories and they're not like, they're, they're not really going to revisit this. Like this is, they yeah. planned it this way to tie into the next phase of things of theatrical yeah. releases. Um, mm -hmm. to move stories along. So I'm glad that that's their mindset. That like, here's a one big story, but it's just six hours to tell it or whatever and they end up chopping up to me. And I thought that was really good because then you know it's going to be tight, it's going to be focused, and we're mm -hmm. going to get the story they intend instead of having like episodic stuff that might take different directions and not like be cohesive. Yeah. And I think, you know, I'm one to focus on keywords and that and that is it. You said it, focus. Mm -hmm. um, Marvel continues to have focus on what they're doing. Big picture planning and everything we saw yesterday, it seems that they're continuing that trend of having a having a plan, not just making, throwing things at the wall, see if they stick like other studios. Um, right. they're, uh, they, they're, they're focusing and they, they got a story to tell and they're going to do it the right way, it seems like. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. So Hopefully. Which I have, I have faith in them. Yes. So. Hopefully they but, uh, do not disappoint. And like I said, those are two characters I'm excited to see back, mm -hmm. um, especially um, Falcon, Anthony Mackie, big fan of his. So. Right. 
Yeah, and I think it's going to be great, and I'm very excited for that. Um, so, and then going on again, more Disney Plus news. I think announced a lot of Disney Plus, but I think just focusing on these couple ones, these are the ones that are really like coming coming in, you know. And so, um, so going on, we did get to, to my surprise, Gary. We did get a fresh look um, yeah. at this right here, Loki. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So I am glad you're laughing. <laughs> That trailer was amazing. I don't, I don't exactly know what they're doing, but I absolutely love this trailer. It's my favorite trailer that we got yesterday. I think it was so uh -huh. great. You know, yeah. um, he. I mean, this is he is to this character what Hugh Jackman is to Wolverine, in my opinion. That he is Loki. You know. Yes. Um, and to see him continue it is going to be great. And um, I, I don't know exactly what he's doing. Uh, obviously hopping around timelines and stuff. It looks like running for president, Congress. Senate, uh, who knows? Yeah. Um, Owen Wilson's in there with a beard. I, I, yeah. You know, uh, great. You know, yeah. Hey, wow. You're, you're you know, it's just like, what? I well, also <laughs> you know, love but, that. Uh, like, not even Loki knows what's going on, which makes no, it even no, better. Yeah, it's no idea. And uh, it just look, it looks really cool. It, it, I was getting uh, a little bit of uh, Thor Ragnarok vibes from it, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so, yeah, this. Uh, this is probably in the Marvel side of things. This is the one I'm probably most si excited about Disney mm -hmm. plus wise. So, yeah. Yeah. Cause it looks like a different take. It looks like they're going to have fun with it. I mean, even that outfit, mm -hmm. he looks like a, <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah. And so you know. he has the Loki everywhere and just, mm -hmm. yeah, so just kind of fun. Plus since he is so mis mischievous and all that kind of stuff, it just looks like, mm -hmm. it looks like it's going to be a blast. And they yeah. said, uh, I can't remember. Did they say this was going to be like, fall winter of next year of 2021 uh i'm not uh, sure let me pull up the imdb machine real quick and excellent see. Um, so while gary pops that bad boy back up because i know we had wandavision in january 2021 heard, six episodes mm -hmm. um i don't see a date they see 2021 okay so, so maybe they haven't announced that because maybe falcon winter Soldier. may may 2021 oh. so oh, sooner we, than we thought excellent yeah because in the falcon winter soldier in march i think might yes. be yeah, it's right. filmed in Atlanta. So, oh, there you go. fun facts. Excellent. Go Falcons, go yeah. Braves. Um, only one of them are good right now, but anyways. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so so that's even better because that means, you know, in winter we get WandaVision, mm -hmm. in spring mm -hmm. we get Falcon and Winter Soldier, and then to start off our summer we get so, Loki. Right here, Loki. It's gonna be cool. So that's great. Yeah. That's gonna be a great time in Disney in Disney Plus and uh, up subscriber. So Disney Plus is smart. Good job, guys. They're very smart, and they are uh, definitely making me every every day. I'm thankful I subscribe to Disney Plus. Not only with the stuff I watch, but the stuff my kids watch. And then yesterday it was like, all right, I'm gonna I'm glad I got this. You know. Yeah. Um, and with all this stuff coming yeah. out because listen, Disney also announced a bunch of other stuff with Pixar and their animation that's going straight to Disney Plus. I'm hoping they that subscription. I'm liking this whole paying six bucks a month or seven, whatever. I think after taxes, oh, yeah. I'm liking yep. that price range. So I hope it doesn't go the, up with all this new stuff coming out. In my opinion, the two biggest network steals, streaming steals, are the WWE Network and Disney Plus because they don't overcharge you and they give you all. They they really they continue to give you really good stuff. So, mm -hmm. and every month I they take stuff out of my bank account and I'm like, hey, I'm fine with that. I'm fine. Yeah. yeah. So, well, because they were smart uh, too. It's like seven dollars. Yes. Eh, I can handle seven bucks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, going back to that that picture you just pulled up, I was looking at it, and uh, mm -hmm. to stay on theme of always mentioning uh, something Batman on all of our episodes, yeah. I need Tom Hiddleston to play a Batman villain at some point. With that picture, Riddler. Riddler. I, I also see. I mean, maybe some Penguin vibes there. You know, maybe maybe it's the uh, the. Uh, politician tag there cobble pot or something yeah. but you know so anyway yeah. i just want to throw that in there so yeah. in case he watches you know yeah yeah maybe. you would be a great riddler tom tom mm -hmm. hiddleston i'm just throwing my two yeah. cents that's what i think I, he that would be, be good yeah. i could see that yeah because he's menacing so. but he, he has the jokes he does have the jokes yeah yeah so, so i like that anyway so, we're talking marvel didn't mean to change the subject but yeah. it's that throw yeah. that in there people yeah. would think something was wrong with me if i didn't talk about batman at least once that's true. So that's true. So I do have one more thing that was exciting news, Gary. I don't mm -hmm. know if you saw this or caught on to this, but yeah. uh, but that right there, Black Widow, 
they said May 7th, 2021. Mm-hmm. They gave us a date for a theatrical release. At Gary, I mm-hmm. I almost had tears come to my yeah. eyes. Because I I w- I thought for sure they're gonna be like, nope, this plus because mm-hmm. we want money now. And so n- this tells me two things. One, they I think Disney thinks there is a future for theaters. Yeah. And two, they have a lot of faith in this movie, which yes. means it's probably it really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's probably really, really good. Because if they're saying, nope, we'll just push it to May, we're sticking mm-hmm. it in theaters, and you'll see it then. Yep. To me, that's just good news all the way around. It's very good news. Very, very, very good news. Um, here's the thing. Scarlett mm-hmm. Johansson, she's a movie star. Mm-hmm. She is a movie star. She belongs on the big screen. You know, that character, Black Widow, belongs on the big screen. That story mm-hmm. belongs on the big screen. Thank you, Disney, for putting it there. You know, yep. Because they could have easily said they could easily be doing what other companies are doing. They could have said Christmas Day to compete with Wonder Woman. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm shocked they're not doing that. I'm thankful they're not. As excited yeah. as I am to see this movie, um, they're saying nope, May seventh. So it was good news. It was. Mm-hmm. And to yep. finally have a date is really good. Yes. So. And they even have a, uh, have a David Harper, which I forget the actor's real name. But, you know, having, mm-hmm. yeah. having yeah. Harper as Red Guardian, mm-hmm. you know, the Russian mm-hmm. version of Captain America, even seeing him on the big yep. screen is going to be great because he looks hilarious. Yep, he does. Yep. But uh, it's going to be good. Yeah, that and Taskmaster, yeah. which is one of, you know, one of my favorite villains of all mm-hmm. Marvel. And like he's always up there. Like I'm like, come on, man. This is be on the screen. I do not want to have to watch this at home. I want to watch no. this right. So no, I'm character, excited. It's like it's like it's like we talked about in our other video. Characters like this, first viewings should be on the big screen. Mm-hmm. You know, especially, yeah. um, you know, anticipated movies, anticipated stories like this. And yeah. I remember talking about her having her own movie for. I mean. When she first came in Iron Man two, people were saying we're gonna have a Black Widow movie. That'd be a really cool story. And then, and then what mm-hmm. was uh, what was that? Um, oh, dang it, uh, uh, Age of Ultron. The stuff we saw from her yeah. past. You know, mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, that would be that would be a really interesting movie. So, yeah, good yep. news. Thank you, Disney. Thank you, Marvel, for yep. brightening up our our day yesterday. Yep. And none of this theatrical NVOD same day nonsense either. Like, no, they yeah. just said theatrical, which beautiful. Mm-hmm. That's what I like to hear. Beautiful. Yeah. Worth the wait. And I'm sure it will be yes. because it shows me yes. they have faith. So I'm sure it's going to be yep. worth the wait. Yep. I could not yeah. agree more. Excellent. <laughs> but yeah, so very excited for that. And um, so that's what we had. Those are the things Gary and I wanted to focus on when it comes to the Disney Investors Day. Listen, there's so much stuff. They talked about Pixar. They talked about um, mm-hmm. more Disney Plus stuff. They talked about... Um, what their animated studio stuff is doing, like Ryan the Dragon, which looks he looks really good. If you want to check all that out, just go to the Diz website. Just look on YouTube. Look up Disney Investors Day. Yep, you can find there. all that extra information. But we just wanted to focus on that. So thanks for joining us. If you haven't yep. yet, subscribe, share, turn on the bell so you don't miss out on any Ding. future videos. We do have, yet again, more great ideas coming. And uh, we we'll do. tell you more about that um, later on. So yep. you're tuning in. And uh, what are you most excited about from the world of Disney, from the investor stock stuff meeting? Comment below. Let us know. We'll talk about it. Yeah. See you guys soon.